I just slipped in, walking backwards trying to do a film for YouTube. Oh, we've gone too far. D1, D2, D3, D4. Is that D4? I've got a lot of space, haven't I? Wow, yeah. nice pictures. You've got a lot of space. Right, so we've been here a few hours now. Uh, we've got all pretty much set up. Um, we've had something to eat. We've had what do we have? Cheese. Oh, cheese and cheese and ham paninis on the Ridge Monkey. Who's that peeping through here? Uh, yeah, cheese and ham paninis on the Ridge Monkey. They were mwah, really nice. Really enjoyed those. Uh, we've had a wander around the site. The weather's still not great. It's still spitting outside, but the site is. It's amazing. It's really well kept, really nice. Everything's super clean, really nice toilets and uh, sinks and what have you. Nice showers. There's the information block where there's all your little leaflets and there's a little library. 
there's a washing up area that's really nice nice sinks uh, every, everywhere all the little rooms are all nice and warm um, there's the shop there's the games room with pool tables air hockey um, arcade games slot machines not many there's, a, there's only a couple of arcade games and uh, yeah everywhere is just really really nice so like I say we're here for a few nights so we're literally just going to chill out and just see how we get on just get used to the van you didn't want that, didn't want that. Um, you can see here we've got our because we're not using the sink or the cooker at the moment uh, all our food's just stack, stacked up on the side there but uh, but yeah, everything's uh, everything's working okay at the moment. So uh, yeah, we're just chilling out. So probably tomorrow, weather permitting, we'll probably go on a little walk down by the river, cross over the river and then back along the river into the village. Uh, maybe do a bit of shopping in there and uh, see where we get on from there. Right, catch you later. morning we're on day two now uh, it's quite late on in the morning to be honest it's about 11 o'clock we've had breakfast we've had uh, croissants bacon scrambled egg so we had a, a leisurely get up we had a good night last night didn't rain in the night we all slept well and uh, yeah it was all all good so uh, we're just on a walk now from the caravan park it's about an hour's walk goes out along the river which you'll no doubt see shortly uh, cross over the river back along the river into high bentham itself and then back round to the caravan park and like i say it takes about an hour so we're just making the most of the decent weather the sun's even tried coming out this morning uh, it's really pleasant you can see we're just in t-shirts so it's really quite nice. This walk is really nice. It's right alongside by the right alongside by right alongside the river and i've been saying to the kids this is kingfisher country this is kingfisher country and they say why 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 as well it's, you know nice shallow water running water all hanging branches and what have we just seen a kingfisher can fly right past down by the river said to eden oh kingfisher wow yeah kingfisher said to my lad did you see the kingfisher no i'm playing with cow poo <sighs> wasted So just a little bit about uh, High Bentham itself, if you ever decide to come and stay at this caravan park, which is really nice, uh, it's got a chippy, pizza takeaway, Chinese takeaway, spa, as in the shop, uh, co-op, uh, grocers, butchers, bakery, hardware shops, uh, I've said grocers, grocers, um, everything you need really. And it's all within like five, ten minutes walk from the caravan park.
Right, I just want to talk about um, some of the things that we found that have worked really well on this camping trip. Now this is our, only our second trip away, but it's probably the first trip where we've actually really lived in the van uh, for, how many nights is it? Three, Three nights. nights. Three nights. Um, we've cooked, we've lived in it, the weather's not been great, so we have been in the van and uh, these are the five things that we've found have worked really well and I'm going to show you what they all are. They're all pretty close to where I am, which isn't really difficult to say because I'm in a van and everything's close anyway, but they are really close behind, close to, uh, close to us. So I'm going to show you what they are. So the first thing, no surprise, is the Ridge Monkey. That has been absolutely brilliant. We've done pretty much everything in that. We've just done uh, dough balls with garlic sauce, garlic butter. We've done oven chips in there. We've done pizzas. We've done bacon. We've done eggs. We've done, uh, what else have we done? Sausage. So sausages, baguettes, paninis. We've done all sorts in there. So that's been really good. And the other thing is the little sort of gas stove that it's sat on. Now, currently, uh, I don't have this plumbed in yet. Um, I want to put my own gas locker in and pipe it the way I want it. So I've not been using that. So I just purchased it, this, it was about 20 quid. Um, it takes the little canisters in the side, just there. It's really good, really easy to use. The regulator is, you can really set the temperature to whatever you want. And that has been really good as well. And we found that just sits on the table nicely. Um, we can have the door open and that's worked really well. The other thing is very close by and that is these little bungee pockets, bungee shelves, bungee things. Um, very handy for storing your piglet in and masks and wallets and phones and anything. That's, I, I don't, I've got three of those, but I've only just put one up for the time being. But that has been really useful. So that has been a good thing as well. The fourth thing is, if you can see it there, is this little thing here. And it's a little sort of bin. It's got little bungee pockets at the side, net pockets. We can just put anything in. But then in the top, I can't see very well because of the light. But there's a little rubber sort of thing where you can just push stuff in there. It's got the little flap. And inside there is a removable waterproof liner. So you can put all your uh, potato peelings, apple cores, and you can put whatever you like in there really. But uh, we just try and keep it to sweetie wrappers and stuff like that, and bits of wrapping off the bread and all that kind of stuff. So that just goes in there. And then when it's, when it's full, you just it's just Velcroed in, you take it out and uh, take it off to the bins. So that has been really good as well. And the fifth thing is what I'm sat on now. Hmm, that didn't look too good that, did it? Or maybe I'll do that again. And the fifth thing, and then I'd say it wrong, so I'll do it again. And the fifth thing is this, what I'm sat on. This is my MS Craft uh, double swivel seat. And uh, there's loads of swivel seats on the market apparently, um, but, I didn't realise at the time when I ordered this one to be fitted to the van is it's actually on sliders. So it's really easy to spin round. You just slide it back, spin it round, and then you can slide it back again. You can lock it in place. Or if you want to do cooking or just sitting at the table, playing cards or eating, you can slide right up to the table and you can see there that the table's not even fully this way. And I'm right up to the table now so i can do the cooking or i can just eat off the table because a lot of them they stop about here and although your table comes forward this way i have to excuse the mess um it's just uh, a bit difficult to reach but with this you can just slide on in and you're right up to the table so that we found that really useful as well right well that's us all packed up now we're uh, we're heading off home working out which way I'm supposed to get out this way uh, yeah I can highly recommend uh, Riverside Park in High Bentham it's a really nice site like I said when we first arrived it looked really well looked after and it certainly is everywhere it's just pristine all the facilities all the amenities all very clean very tidy 
and uh, it's just a really nice sight. Um, there's the really nice walk, there's a couple of nice walks actually, from the site itself. So uh, yeah, Riverside Park, you get thumbs up from us, we've really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video, this is our first proper trip away really. So I hope you enjoyed it, there's a V-Dub just coming in as we're leaving. Um, so if you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. Let's give them a wave. Hey! And uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on the next video. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.